Now let us learn about the types. Excessive destruction of red blood cells result in hemolytic anemia. It occurs when red blood cells are being prematurely destroyed and the bone marrow cannot meet the body's demand for new cells. A plain case of net deficit in demand and supply. Infections, autoantibodies, antibiotics and anti-seizure medicines causes such anemia. Inherited defects in the red blood cells involving its structure, production of hemoglobin or enzymes also causes such excessive destruction, resulting in hemolytic anemia. Common forms of such anemia include sickle cell anemia, thalassemia and glucose 6-phosphate deficiency. Anemia can be caused by excessive bleeding in surgery or injury. However, these are not common causes. Usually slower and long-term blood loss, as in bleeding piles or heavy blood loss during menstruation are indicated. Deficiency in iron and certain substances, inherited defects or diseases that inhibit production of healthy red blood cells can also lead to anemia. The commonest form of anemia, nutritional anemia, is caused by a dietary deficiency of iron, vitamin B12 and folic acid. Avoiding it is in our hands. As such, the high-risk group comprising growing children, old people and menstruating females should opt for the right diet. You may consult a nutritionist. Aplastic anemia is caused by the inability of the bone marrow to produce sufficient numbers of blood cells. Most often, it is caused by virus infection or exposure to radiation or certain toxic chemicals, anti-seizure or cancer medications, and antibiotics are also some of the reasons. Due to deficient synthesis of blood cells, anemia is a common associated finding in cancers, leukemia, chronic infections like tuberculosis and malaria. It is also present in chronic diseases of organs like kidney and thyroid.